Hi people, welcome back. And if you are new here, my name is Coco Bober. On this channel, we get all sorts of adventures while trying to get some nice shots and memories of it. If you are in that kind of things, adventure, photography, filmmaking, make sure to subscribe for more videos like this every week. In this video, I want to share my experience taking some photographs while hiking on the snow. Or how I should say how to be doing landscape photography in harsh conditions. This is a recent trip to the Italian Alps with my friend Cuba to the region of the Alpi Orobia near Bergamo. Hiking on the snow can be a beautiful and exhilarating experience, but it can also present a lot of challenge for photographers. The first challenge is the cold. When it's freezing outside, it can be difficult to keep your hands warm enough to operate your camera comfortable. And up to the level of freezing temperatures, your camera may not obey your orders and gets slightly froze. As many mountaineers may experience, another challenge may be the slippery surface. It can be difficult to keep your balance on the snow while you are carrying your camera and another gear. Everything becomes a bit fuzzy while trying to fight against the snow and the wind to capture some pictures. Deep snow can make it hard to get around and it can make it tough to get a clear shot through all the snowflakes. And nevertheless, we tried. And believe me, we tried our best hard, but it wasn't enough. The long of the next 10 days, we failed to reach four mountains, but we did manage to get at least two other tops. Although we need days in between to rest after over 12 hours of hiking per day and driving around during the night to the next place going through the Alps or well to start a new hike the next day. The go the one that is doing seems like it. Right. Now we know what does the go say. <laughs> so the access to the lake that we were trying to reach it was extremely tough with these conditions and we decided to come back before the night hit on. Not always you win against such much snow so here we are and it was actually very hard to make a lot of pictures today uh, mainly in this higher part it's hard to work with 80 centimeters of snow covering your legs each step is falling so we will see on the next days what can we do
fast and like so in, in the 19th century he wrote it down in some some notebook of his but he didn't consider it very important and like he for his purpose he found other tools that he used in the end and so he didn't publish it or anything and it was lost yeah it was exactly the same algorithm <laughs> that if like people if he had published it if it was known <laughs> it's very hard to walk in these situations as you can see it's like very full of snow and it's hard actually to take the camera and make pictures either because it's freezing us uh, I don't know how minus but tomorrow is supposed to be minus 15, so I bet that today is also minus something hard. <laughs> but the mission is to try to reach over there on the higher mountain. Kuwait somewhere there. Yeah. Crampon working well. Oh. But, yeah. Yeah, fierce little top of the day.
We have the great time while hiking and uh, fighting with all these conditions. It wasn't uh, expected actually, these conditions were super unexpected and especially on the first day. But that doesn't take the joy of the adventure. <laughs>